everyone. Welcome to Chat Success. <laughs> Hi. Hello, hello. I am Anna Soriano minus my boss in Jason Dulay. Na naglala mierda sa Switzerland. <laughs> Bossing yung pasalubong ko, ha? So, hi everyone! Ang dami nang nanonood, Pinks. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> Kinabahan ako bigla. <laughs> hi sa lahat ng mga nanonood. Hello. Hello. Hi sa mga friends ko, sa relatives and everyone, yung mga freelancer friends ko. Hello, hello. You're joining us live today, it's probably because you want to learn how to work from home. If you are already working from home and you are also seeking out to learn from other people's experience and success, or most probably dahil kilala nyo ang ating magandang guest ngayon, Yun. at gusto nyo marinig ang kanyang inspiring na kwento. Na- so, yes. Yan. Ang goal natin kasi dito sa WFHR is to teach people how to make enough income working from home so that you can quit your corporate jobs. And the guests that we bring here in FLIP are the people we really believe to have the right mindset and skills in order to equip you and empower you to become a successful freelancer. So, well, today's guest can be described, ito na yon. aside from being pretty, Description. pretty talaga, di ba? Pretty to. <laughs> di ba, Jo? Nandiyan ba si Jo? <laughs> from being pretty is a very determined, intelligent and has a very big heart. Her career story is a proof that success is a result of faith, perspiration, and persistence. She used to be an international flight attendant who unexpectedly lost her job. Parang ano to ah, beauty pageant. <laughs> <laughs> so yan. But this lady learned the secret to success in freelancing and went from losing her job to partnering with international brands and helping business owners increase their revenue through the power of social media and copywriting. She's a proud student of WFHR. Talaga may ganito eh. Iba, iba kasi yung kay bossing, di ba? Iba rin yung sa akin. She's a proud student of WFHR. She took SEO, social media marketing for business, virtual assistance, HTML, and WordPress courses. Lahat na. Yes, lahat na. All rolled into one. Lahat inaral niya na. Ayaw niya kalimutan lahat. Uh, so she's also a member of different freelancing communities and the community manager for email marketing Philippines. She's been invited to speak in the Virtual Career Summit 2017 by Job Mar Hilario to help inspire Filipinos to work from home or anywhere there's internet so that they can have more time with family. She's gonna be sharing her past struggles and how she turned those struggles into her assets, as well as the tools she used to make them happen. Please welcome our beauty queen. Wow. <laughs> Inky and Isene. Grabe. Grabe yung intro. Ang haba. Grabe. Napagod ako. <laughs> Kapagod pala yun. Pre-nactice na natin yung kanina. Napagod Kaya, na pa. Kaya. <laughs> iba kasi pag live eh. <laughs> Hello guys! Shout out sa mga friends ko, Yoli, Kimi, um, Jo, uh, sana wala akong makalimutan. Basta lahat ng friends ko, hello, hello, charming. I'm very, very um, honored to be here in Work From Home Roadmap, the if not the best online uh, training platform to learn work from home in the Philippines. Yeah, so I'm very proud to be here. I'm a proud student Yay. of WFHR. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. So, siguro, I'll start with um, um, talking to you directly. Yes, you, you who's watching right now. Um, today, I'm gonna share my story. Um, but to be honest, this is not just about me. This is actually um, about you as well. Because um, I want you to see your story in my story. Um, Kung ako lang naman kasi talaga, ayoko ng pag-usapan to eh. Kasi itong si Miss Anna Soriano, pinilit ako na i-share yung story ko sa inyo. So I realized naman din na uh, she's right that um, I should share my story because um, I think my story doesn't belong to me only. It belongs to the people who needs to hear it. And if only just today, I can just inspire one person, kahit isa lang, um, kasi so, par, for me kasi it, yung yung ano ko yung story ko is somehow humiliating and um medyo hindi something to be proud of yung ibang part yung struggles ba I'll take the shame anyway basta may isa lang na ma-inspire today so with that um I'm going to challenge you to find yourself in any of um in any part of my story and if you stay 
in this um, video, Facebook Live video, until the end of this session, I'm going to give you a freebie. Actually, two freebies. Um, pwede ka mamili. It's either going to be, uh, the first one would be a simple formula that will kickstart your freelancing career. And number two is how to turn your struggles into your best asset. So if you want those, um, <coughs> sorry, if you want those freebies, those are like ebooks. I'm going to give them to you. Stay with us until the end of this Facebook Live. And engage. Um, I need to learn from you as well. I need to hear from you, your feedback. I, this is like um, you and me. Huh? Um, it's not just about me. So that's basically what I want to tell everyone. So share, share, share. Yes. Thank you so much Anna, for inviting me, Miss Anna. Yes, of course. So... Start na ba ako? Oo, start na. Ma, para maiyak na silang lahat. Grabe, maiyak talaga. <laughs> <laughs> so, sige. Um, paano ba? Simulan. Okay. Um, I think my, um, the turning point, the turning point of my life started when I was 17 years old. Um, you see guys, I am uh, an eldest child. I came from a broken family. My mom and dad got separated. And during that time, um, when when they split or when they're on and off, we are um, iniwan kami sa sa lola ko, which means I grew up with my grandmother. She was like my 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 confidant, my best friend. She was everything to me. So when she died, um, that was one of my darkest years. Somehow, like my rock bottom. So, nung namatay din siya. Um, Siyempre, wala nang magpapaaral sa akin. Um, at that time, uh, naalala ko, I remember the time when my, I lived with my dad. And that time, um, my dad, by the way, is a jeepney driver. So, that time, my dad um, just earned, one, I think, 100 pesos that day. So, wala talaga kaming pambayad ng kahit room for rent. So... I remember uh, our jeepney was parked on Bohol Street, balik-balik sa Palak, Manila. Yung tatay ko, my dad is on the left side, lying down, sleeping. I was still awake. I think gabi na nun, it's time to sleep. I was still awake, lying down as well, looking at my dad. Hawa ko yung kumot ko. I was thinking, sabi ko, uh, paano kaya to? Baka naman ma... Maripa ko dito kasi syempre I'm, I'm a girl. I'm 17 years old. Tapos yung father ko tulog. Paano kung bigla na lang kaming saksakin dito sa loob ng jeep? Parehas kami. You know, it's not safe. But we lived there for like, I can't remember how many months but there was a time in my life where we lived there. So, um, sabi ko sa sarili ko noon, tinignan ko yung papa ko. Sabi ko, um, pa, alam mo, darating yung araw na magkakaroon tayo ng sarili nating bahay. Sabi ko. Wait lang. <laughs> Wait lang. <laughs> Kasi, habi ko, gagawin ko ang lahat para magkaroon tayo ng sarili nating address. Kasi, um, since nga, yun nga, uh, lagi silang nag-break ni mama, so we had to transfer from one place to another and we had like 22 addresses. <laughs> palipat-lipat ng bahay. Palipat-lipat din ako ng school. So, I didn't have, meron, wala talaga akong naging permanent na school. So, I was always a transfer. Um, so, that time, yun nga, that was my pledge. I wanted to have a house for my family. I wanted to provide a better future for my family. So, that's why. <laughs> um, that time, Naalala ko, nakilala ko si Gabs. Si Gabs is um, a BPO employee. Sorry, that time pala, bago ko makilala si Gabs, um, yung father ko, tinanong ko siya. Naalala ko. Um, papa, sabi ko, Papa, malapit na yung pasukan. Um, may pang-enroll na ba ako? Sabi ko ganun. And then, sabi sa akin ng father ko, I will never forget his reply. Kasi that, that, that reply, <laughs> sabi niya sa akin, Nak, hindi ko kasi alam eh, sabi niya ganun. And that answer really broke my heart into pieces. Kasi sabi, alam mo kasi bakit? Kasi, Vince Lister ako noon. Misaling yung space na lang ang babayaran namin. Hindi pa namin mabayaran. 
Pero guys, hindi ako, with, I was not from the poorest of the poor, to be honest. Kasi na, yung, yung first parts of their life naman, okay naman eh. That time lang. So, dun nalungkot din talaga ako. Tapos, somehow, I got jealous about other people, yung ibang friends ko, ibang classmates ko. They were still studying, graduating. So, parang, I nag-self, ano ko, doubt and self-pity. But I did not tell anyone, of course. We have our own egos, di ba? So, sabi ko sa sarili ko, oh, mali itong way of thinking ko. This is not the kind of mindset that I want to have because if I'm gonna keep it this way, na para akong victim ng sarili kong buhay, no, I'm not a victim of my situation. I can create my future. So, sabi ko, ah, okay, sige. Magagawa ito na paraan. My first job was as a Jollibee crew. Um, but of course, alam naman natin ang Jollibee, Jollibee job hindi naman siya talaga sustainable. So, um, yun nga, nakilala ko si Gab, si Gabriel Sin. Um, he was my friend. And that time, nag-dorm na ako. So, nabayar, nakabayad man si Papa ng pang dorm ko. Ako lang, but my dad was still living inside a GP. So, sabi niya, uh, uy, pwede kang mag-apply sa amin sa Makati, sa KGB Philippines. Info NX expire yung name nun. So, habi niya, apply ka kasi pwede naman undergrad. So, habi ko, oh, yun talaga, pwede undergraduate. Ano bang trabaho yun? Call center, mag-answer ka ng mga, ano, tawag. Oh, but you need to speak in English. So, habi ko, oh, magaling mga teacher ko sa high school. Natutulan ko yung English na yan. Sige, sige, apply ako. And then, Ay nga pala sa teacher ko ng high school, Miss Leia, if you're watching. So, yun, um, I applied and luckily, nakuha ko naman din yung BPO job na yun. And then, I got promoted, naging TDO ako, which is Training and Development Officer. And then, yung team namin, pinadala sa UK, which is my first, that was my first um, experience to go abroad. I was very happy. Kasi I was 18 years old. I was their baby. Ako yung bunso nila. I was very young, you know. So, happy. And then, suddenly, the company went downhill. Um, Nag-declare sila ng redundancy. So, um, I think I was part of the third batch na na redundant. So, when it happened, I was ready already. Parang, I conditioned myself that, oh, nagtatanggala na. So, that time, ni-ready ko na yung sarili ko. I was looking for another job. And then, my friends that time, they were um, telling me na, maganda daw sa JP Morgan Chase. So, it's a multinational company. It's very um, big in the US. So, okay, sabi, maganda daw yung pay. Tinry ko. And then, luckily, nakuha ko na naman siya. So, sabi ko, wow, six days lang akong unemployed. Pero, natanggal na ako ng trabaho. So, Sabi ko, thank you, Lord. Thank you talaga. Until six years ako nagtrabaho doon. Um, sorry, six years yung buong BPO industry ko. Uh, na career history. And then, um, nag-realize ko, yung pangarap ko na bahay, hindi ko pa rin pala natutupad. Kasi that time, um, I was the one paying the bills. Uh, yung bahay, tubig, kuryente. Nagpapadala din ako sa mom ko kasi nakahilari siya sa amin. And then, yung, yung kapatid ko, Basta, everything pinabayaran ko. So, wala akong naipon. Until one friend, her name is Jonah. Hi, Jonah, if you're here. And Kimi, her her sister. um She invited me to apply to um uh, call set, sorry, not call set, international flight attendant position, which is um Qatar, in Qatar Airways. Magkasama kayo, magkabatch ba kayo ni Holly? Hindi, no? Nauna ata sa akin si Holly. Okay. Yeah, she's more senior to me. And and then, um, that time, um, I think sabi ko, wow, Qatar Airways International. And now, now Qatar Airways is known as the world's five-star airline, right? So, oy wow. Sabi ko, baka ito na yung pangarap ko. Ito na yung kat, kat, kasagutan sa pangarap ko. So, ganun. so yes. I, um, I dreamed again of about our future, about for my family. So, we went. But, during the first try, I failed. I failed the the reach test. Kasi guys, um, di ba pag FA ka, you need to have a certain height and you need to reach something. Merong um, 212 centimeter na ipapaabot sa'yo. So, you need to reach that line. 
And I, <laughs> hindi naman ako ganun katangkad for an FA standard. I am 160 centimeter. That is like the the minimum for most airlines. And to be honest, I was I was not confident with my height. Kumusta naman ako, di ba? <laughs> I mean, for the flight attendant standards. So, parang sabi ko, oh gosh. Tapos, during that application, there were like 3,000 applicants and they were all very tall, very pretty. So, I started to question myself. Sabi ko, gosh, kayo ba to? Pero sige, sabi ko, ito yung, ano eh, ito yung pangarap ko eh. I'll go for it. So, I went. I gave my CV to the recruiter. She asked me to pitch the line. Hindi ko naabot. Sabi ko, teka lang, ang haba ng pinila ko. Lapot-lapot na yung makeup ko. Tapos, pauwi mo ko. Una pa lang. Sabi ko, teka lang ha. Sabi ko, ma'am, pwede ko bang kunin ulit yung CV ko? Can I please, please have it again? Kasi sa, sa isip ko, yung, yung photo ko, great image yun. Eh, ang mahal-mahal magpa-picture sa great oh. image. And, <laughs> di ba? <parang, laughs> so, sabi ko, I need to have that resume again. Tapos, Sabi niya, sa kukulitan ko siguro, binigay din naman niya sa akin. And then, I took that sa so, ang ginawa ko, I fell in line again. Kasi tatlo yung line. <laughs> Sabi ko, ah, hmm, parang mas mababa yung linya dun sa kabila. Ah, pipila ako dun. Pumila ako. Naabot ko naman siya. So, I was very happy. Yes! Sabi ko, nagawa ko na paraan. Tapos, tinawagan nila ako for the next day. And then, Nagulat ako, meron na namang reach test. So, syempre, dahil hindi nga ako confident, hindi ko siya naabot na naman. Sabi nung recruiter sa akin, um, excuse me, what's your height? Sabi niya sa akin. Sabi ko, uh, 160 centimeters. Sabi ko, ganun. Doon pa lang, pinakita ko na sa kanya na hindi ako confident sa sarili ko. And I think that's one of the um, traits that they were looking for. If not, kung, kung di ko man maabot yun, baka... kung confident ako, di ba, baka natanggap pa ako. I don't know. I mean, but that, that moment was, sobrang nalungkot talaga ako noong pag-uwi ko. Sabi ko, Lord naman, nandun na eh. Okay ni, Koti na lang eh. Sabi ko, hindi mo pa binigay sa akin. Sabi ko, ganun. So, sabi ko, what should I do? I cannot just, hindi ko ma-let go eh. I mean, I hold on to the dream that this is the solution to my problem. I'm gonna be able to buy a house, build a vet, better future for my family. Lord, this is not for me. This is for my family. Bonus na yung para sa akin, di ba? So sabi ko, okay, hanap ako ng solution. Google ako. How to grow taller. Sabi ko ganun. Okay, yes. Google ko din yun. Grow taller. 23 years old ako that time. So, I didn't have... Parang, there's no hope that I will add any other... Parang, any extra inches, di ba? Or one or two. No way. Sabi ko ganun. So, sabi ko na frustrate ako. Um, yeah, bakit naman ganito? I can... Kasi I feel like I can always do something. Laging may paraan. Sabi ko sa isip ko. Sana naman may paraan kung gusto mo. Pero sabi ko, paano ko gagawin ng paraan to? Hindi naman ako mata... Hindi na ako tatangkad. Sabi ko ganun. I realized, naalala ko yung sabi nila na focus on what you can control. Let go of the things that you cannot. So sabi ko, yun ang nag, nag light bulb moment sa akin. Sabi ko, oh, so, if hindi ko ma- <laughs> Yes! <laughs> if hindi ko ma-increase yung height ko, increase ko or improve ko yung flexibility ko. Sabi ko, kasi di ba, oh, Eh, aabutin na naman. Medyo abot ko naman eh. Na, natrambahan ko na una. So, sabi ko, okay, practice. Next thing I know, ito ako SM, bumili akong yoga mat, bumili akong yoga DVD. Tapos, sa bahay namin, nag-drawing ako ng 212 cm. Nag-yoga ako araw-araw bago mong pumasok sa BPO, sa Chase. And then, nireach ko yan every day. And then, nag-enroll din ako sa yoga class, which is y- yung building next to our Um, office. So, talagang na-obsess ako na kailangan maabot ko to. So, until finally, finally. sabi ng tatay ko, Papa, Papa, tignan mo! Abot mo na ba? Sabi niya, abot mo na. Sabi niya sa akin. So, pagbalik ng Qatar Airways, they went here um, because they do the recruitment drive. They The recruiters go to the Philippines and then you apply. Um, so, sabi ko, yun, bumalik sila. So, ibig sabihin, bibigay ito sa akin, Lord. Punta ako. Second try. 
Lord, pag binigay mo sa akin to, pag nabot ko to, ako na bahala sa interview. PPO employee ako eh. Kaya ko yun. Ako na yung bahala sa group activity. Sabi ko ganun, basta to, bigay mo sa akin, please, sabi ko. So, okay. Sabi Reach this. Nabot ko. Without difficulty. <laughs> Nakalabot ako, ganun. Kasi ganun talaga. <laughs> Tapos, nagtuloy-tuloy na siya. And then, yun. I went to the to Qatar. I gained so many friends who became family to me. I had friends whose language I didn't speak. I've been to places I couldn't pronounce. <laughs> and I've met people from different faiths. Christians, Buddhists, Hindu, Muslims. So basically, um, Qatar Airways has, wide, has widened my horizon. That experience, yung flight attendant experience is really something I would not trade and something I'm so grateful for. So, in short, it's like my badge of honor. And um, my family was very proud of me. My, my friends were very proud of me. They were happy when I was sharing my photos of different countries. So, ayun, ang saya ko lang. Tapos, after three years, that was like three years, napansin ko, teka lang, may pattern. Hindi ko pa rin pala nabibili yung bahay na gusto ko. Para sa family ko, wala. Renting pa rin kami. And then that time, my brother was um, studying in college already. I was paying for his tuition fee. So, yun. Continue yung support. And of course... Dalawa lang kayo, di ba? Dalawa lang um, kayo ng brother mo. Kapatid. Apat kami. Dalawa kami sa mom and dad ko. Pero ap- apat kami. Yung sa mom ko. And then, so... Habi ko, oh, gosh. Hindi pa rin na uh, yung dream ko. Wala. Hindi pa rin natutupad. Um, that's what, that's the time na hindi na ako lumalabas ng hotels. Kasi when you go, when you go to a country, you go around the city, you explore, explore. That time, I don't explore anymore. I just really research what I can do. Sabi ko, anong gagawin ko next step? I need to really pursue entrepreneurship now. Sabi ko, kasi feeling ko, meron akong entrepreneurial spirit. And I think my friends na yung mga classmates ko nung elementary and even nung high school, binibentahan ko yung mga, yung mga kung ano-ano. Like when I was in elementary, I think grade 2, nagtitinda ako ng stationery from Divisoria. And then binibenta ko sa kanila. Ewan ko, binibili naman nila. And then... Oh, <laughs> and then nung, ka na talaga. <laughs> nung high school ako, ay nagbebenta ko ng ice candy, ng zesto, ng ng cupcakes sa mga classmates ko sa room. At nung cheerleader ako, I took advantage of na pagod sila. Tapos sabi ko, oh, bubuksan ko yung bag ko. Daming pagkain to. Bili kayo, bili kayo. Bili naman sila. Kasi, hungry customers. Then, goodbye. Diba? Bumili naman. So, sabi ko, ah, I have that spirit. So, I will, I will pursue that dream. So, sabi ko, baka this time, okay na. Alright. So, I put up the business. I went on vacation. I um, registered my business in DIR. I spent for training um, for, for me to learn the ropes of being a travel agency owner. And then, after two months, I went back to Qatar. This time, um, something ha- happened. It's very unexpected. So, I'll take you to that moment. Um, <laughs> Kinuwento niya sa akin yan eh, kaya naiiyak ako pag naririnig ko. <laughs> ako nga, pag sinasabi ko, nararamdaman ko ulit eh. Mm-hmm. So, when I was there, um, I was there waiting near the door, exit door. I was waiting for the person in charge to tap her ID on the exit so that I can leave the building. Because just a few minutes ago, my ID was confiscated from me. And I was so ashamed because I felt like everyone was looking at me and like they felt, I felt like they knew what happened to me. Pero di naman nila alam, di ba? But I wasn't wearing an ID. Maybe they were thinking that mm, something happened. Maybe I did something wrong. So, in short, I felt so ashamed. And then she came. She tapped her ID. I exit the building. That was the time when I lost my job. Wait lang. Sige, sige. That was the time I lost my job and that was the time that I realized that the job that I worked hard for, 
my badge of honor is gone. And um, sabi ko sa ko, paano ko sasabihin sa parents ko that I cannot send allowance anymore until I figure out what to do next. And ano, what will my friends say? What will other people say about me? Ah, baka may ginawang kung ano to, kaya natanggal ko sa trabaho, di ba? So, for me, um, I think getting fired or losing your job is always like um, hidden or they, it's like wrapped in secrecy and humiliation and shame. So, I think that's why um, naging mahirap for me to, to say it. But then, I realized nga, maybe people could relate to it. So, um, I lost that job. Sabi ko, ah, siguro, sabi ni Lord, ah, simulan mo na yung sinimulan mo. Kasi nag-start ka na ng travel agency mo, gawin mo na. Pero sabi ko kasi, Lord, di pa ako ready. I, have, I don't have emergency fund. Because having an emergency fund is the safest way for you to jump into entrepreneurship. From employment to entrepreneurship. So, not now, please. Not now. But again, Sobrang roller coaster ride tayo dito, di ba? From, <laughs> ano, sad, happy, sad, happy. So, parang sobrang inspiring talaga, Pinks. Kahit ulit-ulitin mo sa akin, I inspire ulit ako over and over. <laughs> <laughs> so, yun nga. Um, um, nung, nung nangyayari yun, so, wala na akong choice. Um, I had to roll up my sleeves, just get the work done. Okay, sige. Balik akong Pilipinas. Final na yung decision ng company. Um, and I respect them. I mean, guys, I don't have any hard feelings against my previous company because um, that company it had given me so much opportunities. And I I, I honestly believe that... Um, sige. Um, kasi baka yung iba tanungin kung bakit, di ba? So, I cannot go into, de- into details because I don't want to put them in a bad light. Ganito na lang. If I'm... If it happened here in the Philippines, I think the worst that could happen to me is a verbal warning. But the thing is, that that um, code or code of conduct is unique to that country or to that airline. So, And I disrespected that. I violated that. So I had to admit that to myself, that I made a mistake. And that is a very humbling experience for me. Na parang, I'm not supposed to be perfect. I can make mistakes. But of course, when you have an ego, it's hard. It's hard to admit it, di ba? So, sabi ko, okay, wait. Uh, travel agency, every day working, trying to make it work. And then, yeah, somehow I, I survived, but I did not thrive. So, um, I, I realized na I signed up to become the general manager of my own company. But I also signed up for... 20 hours of um, working in front of the computer, calling the suppliers, um, contacting their clients, um, asking for partnership, you know. <laughs> Ang dami palang gagawin. Ikaw pa yung magkukumpute ng taxes mo, ikaw pa magpapay. Ikaw lahat-lahat. Rolling one. Channel manager. Hindi ko kinaya, Desi. Hindi ko kinaya. Tapos, sabi ko, na-realize ko, oy, I think I need to learn marketing. I didn't have any marketing background. Um, so, sabi ko, okay, wala akong marketing background. I will learn it. I will learn it. So, that's when I um, found out about freelancing. I, I am a... Uh, yes. The freelance mo. Yeah. But, alam ko na yung freelancing, hindi ko pinansin. Parang somehow, umaattend ako, pero hindi ko siya na-apply. Ganun. So, sabi ko, okay, ito na talaga. Kailangan kong mag-marketing. Then... Na, 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 nalaman ko yung marketing. Sabi ni Shoden, don't forget daw, naging janitor ka din daw. <laughs> <laughs> Ikaw rin ang janitor ng sarili mong business. Oo, oh, 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 oh. kasama yun kasi lilidisin mo, di ba? So, um, <laughs> nawala ako. Dun. Nawala, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so, yun, nag-aral ka ng marketing. Ayun, na... I learned about it sa The Feast because I am a regular attendee of The Feast. And um, Brother Bo shared the book of um, Jomar Hilario, which is The Virtual Careers. And I read that book and I was inspired. Uy, pwede ba lang mag-earn online? So, what did I do? I immersed myself in, in online marketing. 
I le- I sought mentors. I I bought a lot of courses, but I'm not advising you to buy a lot of courses, okay? <laughs> What I'm saying is, um, yun nakilala ko yung work from home roadmap, and dun halos lahat din ng courses tinik ko. I explored, explored. I grew. I read hundreds of books, and then I um observe those mentors that I met. And I observe and listen to them intentionally. Not just for the sake of, you know, listening. But, mm-hmm. yung sa isip ko kasi, I want to talk like them, walk like them, think like them. Because whatever they have right now, I want to have it. They have the freedom to work at their own time. They have the freedom to choose kung sino makakatrabaho nila. Mm-hmm. Diba? I mean, there's so many opportunities in freelancing. So, okay. In short, ginawa ko lahat. I got obsessed. As in obsessed. Pati seminars, lahat ina-attendan ko. Or, I'm like a crazy person. And to be honest with you, when you're doing this, some people would not understand you. In fact, I got um, comments like messages na, ano pong ginagawa mo? Uh, huwag ka masyadong mapangarap. Huwag ka masyadong... Um, but they don't understand what your, what your, your biggest why. So... Never ever listen. Never ever listen. Listen to yourself. So, so sabi ko, okay. Alam nyo, guess what? It worked. Lahat no, lahat ng ginawa ko na yun, it worked. So, um, na yun, um, I finally own my time. I, I was super duper hungry to learn eh. So, now, right now, I own my time. I can work wherever there is stable internet. Um, last time I traveled to Qatar again, and then there I worked there. And oh, pasyal, pasyal ka na lang. Yes, and in in Boracay I worked there. So, sabi ko, oh gosh, this is freedom. And then I eat lunch every day with my father and my brother, which never happened, by the way. Now mm-hmm. it may have happened before, but yung every day, kasi I was a BTO employee, night shift, sleeping ako, gising sila, gising sila. Sleeping ako. Binaligtag din ba? Pero anyway, so, <laughs> and then, flight attendant, 24 hours lang ako sa Philippines. So, pag vacation leave lang ako talaga, nakakasma ng time sa kanila. So, very, very special sa akin yung everyday kami magkasama. And, so yun, um, I think the best thing that ever happened is I'm pursuing something that I really, really love. And I would, sobrang thankful na nang, thankful ako sa nangyari. Because if I didn't lose that job, I wouldn't learn about this. Ibig sabihin, may plan talaga si Lord sa'yo. Kaya yeah. kailangan mangyari yun. So, totoo yan, so, totoo may, yan. Through yung lahat ng nangyari sa'yo para ma-discover mo kung saan ka talaga dapat ilagay. And kung yes. saan ka dapat magiging masaya. Diba? Agree ako. Sobrang agree ako. Kasi our plans... God's plan are always is always better than yes. our plans. So that's that's it, guys. I mean, <laughs> disclaimer lang ah, kasi may nagpipiham sa akin. Lalo na nung ano, nung FA ako, may nangungutang, may ano. <laughs> kasi hindi, halong marami kang pera. <laughs> guys, hindi pa ako millionaire ah. Ako <laughs> lang ang nangungutang. Kasi nagbabayad pa ako ng, ng condo. Tapos, anyways, may family ako to support. So yun, Yun, one of the biggest um, uh, achievement pa is I finally have a permanent address. Yay! So, sobrang happy talaga. And, um, so yun guys, uh, right now, I want to hear from you. Um, what's your biggest takeaway from my story? Yay! Oo nga. Ako, ako sobra talaga akong na-inspire. Unang kwento mo pa lang sa akin ng story. Talagang Sobrang na, sa, di ba ayaw mo pa yung ikwento? Sabi mo, ay parang hindi pa ako ready, ganyan-ganyan. Sabi, hindi, Pinky, ready ka na. Kwento mo na yan. <laughs> Kailangan nilang marinig yan. Kasi di ba, sobrang yung pinagdaanan mo. Akala nila, kasi with a free, pretty face like you, akala nila walang ganong ano, eksena sa buhay. Yung parang, di ba lahat ano, masaya lang. Kasi ang saya yeah. ng face mo eh. So, pero hindi namin alam na may ganyan kang pinagdaanan sa buhay, di ba? isipin. Parang talaga, talaga nagdaan ka sa ganyan. So, sobrang nakaka-inspire. So, yung sa lahat ng mga nanunood, share nyo naman yung story ni Pinky para makuha nyo yung kanyang ano. Meron siyang ibibigay. Yes. I am going <laughs> to share with you um, my ebook 
um, a simple formula yeah, that will giveaway. kickstart your freelancing business and how to turn your struggles into your best asset. By the way, guys, um, you know, um, I think work from home roadmap will really, really help you sa freelancing uh, career if you want to start. Kasi I think instead of me helping you, ako alone, I think I won't be able to do it. But um, I can guide you, yes. But work from home roadmap is um, the start. And you, my friend, you can create your own source of income as well. Yes. I promise you that. That's a bold yeah. promise. Share and comment to get your ebook na PDF. Uh, people over there. <laughs> so, yon. Dami naming, ano, napag-usapan din ni Pinky na, ano, pero medyo naka-recover na ako dun sa iyak-iyak moment natin. <laughs> Kaya hindi ako medyo, medyo na, ano, na-touch dun sa story. Kasi na, nagkwentuhan na kami talaga ni Pinky beforehand. <laughs> Prepared kami sa mga bagay-bagay. <laughs> <laughs> so yan, ano, ano ba? Meron ka pa bang, ano? Gusto? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I would, siguro basahin natin yung comments nila. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will. Ang dami mong mga fans kasi, nandiyan si Shaw din, sila H, nga nanonood. Sige, we will read the comments. Ano ka ba yung comments nila? Wait lang. Um, sa Facebook, open mo yung Facebook. Sa phone siguro, pwede. Ang dami mong mga fans. Naririnig ko yung ano. <laughs> Uh, si Shaw din, sabi niya, oh, buy all the courses, ha, ha, ha. Gusto <laughs> <laughs> so, niya matutunan lahat, Shaw din eh. Kaya kailangan buy lahat. Ayun din si Honey. Ang dami mo kayang mga nanood na, ano, mga kakilala. Ay, ang dami din na, ang dami din na nating views. Wow, ang galing naman, congrats. Ang galing mo daw. Wow, saludo ako sa'yo, sa'yo po, sabi ni Liora. Uh, Henry, ang galing. Ang galing ni Kuya. Ayan, si Bossing nandyan lang siya pa comment-comment. Wow, nabot na din ng dreams. Bossing, nandyan ka lang, di ba? Ang saya mo ha. Dati ako lang ang nagko-comment. Ngayon, ikaw nagko-comment comment dyan. Hi, Jason. Sabi ni JM, very inspiring story. Sabi ni Shaw din, I only heard a small part of this, but by golly, wow. By golly. Wow, wow, wow. wow. <laughs> ang, ang aktibo ni Shaw. Pwede rin po ba magtanong, sabi ni Arline? Oo naman. Anong tanong? Go. I shared ha, my e-book. Yes, we will be sharing. <laughs> Alahala, <I> share. <laughs> um, we will be still checking kung sino yung nag-comment at nag-share. Dapat yeah. comment and share, guys. Um, you, have, <laughs> yes, you have to share this to your friends and family because they need to know this opportunity. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. You don't need... You don't need to go MLM anymore, wear power, pa, yes. <laughs> whatever. If that, I mean, ad, walang masama sa ibang MLM. It's mm-hmm. some are ethical, but I think this, it's not for everyone. Yes. So this um, freelance job is actually can be for anyone, I think. Whoever wants it. So, um, ano yung comment nila dito? Sabi ni Eric, masakit talaga mawala ng work, lalo na gustong gusto mo ito, but Thank din ako, ano, ma-thank din ako kung di ako, di ako natanggal, di ako magsisikap tumayo ng mag-isa. Very inspiring. Yes. Tama. Tama yan. Kanya. Kaya nga, nung una ayaw niya pa yung i-share eh, kala niya hindi nakaka-inspire. Pero yun, gets ko naman na medyo masakit talagang ikwento yung pag yung, ang pagkukwentuhan eh yung ano ba, yung pinaka down, down na down na moment ka. Tapos, kesa dun sa puro masaya lang, di ba? So, yes. ang hirap nung pinagdaanan ni Pinky, I promise. <laughs> Pag second na kwento niya. Kasi na, we see in Facebook every day the wind. Yung masasaya and lang. Di ba? Yung happy story. So, mm-hmm. um, minsan yun nga, ang hirap lang nung, nung mga ganong bagay. And I'm, I'm kind of a private person. I take care of some of the details of my yes. my my personal life, di ba? But, um, yun nga yung narealize ko yung sabi ni Ana na, ano, um, may may inspire ka. Baka sila, nawawala na sila ng parasa. You will be, bring hope. So, yes. sana nga guys na nabigyan ko kayo ng hope at inspiration. So, Tanong naman kayo guys, baka may question when, kayo kay Pinky. May gusto kayong itanong. Sabi, sabi ni Aim, um, me and my mom are watching your FB live sis. So inspiring. There is always you, a rainbow after the rain. Tuloy ang buhay. Yes. Yan. Sabi ni Jason Supsup, 
Um, inspiring, freelancing is a real game changer. Nala nalala ko, friend ko, three years ago, asked me if nakakabuhay daw ba ng, ang freelancing. Yes. Well, everybody was already on this knows the answer. Yes. Sabi ni Shaw then, where did you find the grit, Pinks, when things were, were really tough? Anong yung source of strength mo? Yan, sagutin mo yan si Shaw then. Madami siyang tanong. <laughs> Ay, yung biggest why ko. I mean, yun talaga yung pinanghawakan ko eh. Kasi gusto ko talagang um, magkaroon ng better life. I mean, I'm not yet um, where I'm, yung, yung pinaka-vision ko. But I, I'm happy with where I am. And I'm so excited with what's coming because I can really see the opportunities. Yun. Yes. And then, siguro another answer to that kasi... Um, pag nasa stress ako at um, hindi ko gusto yung nangyari or things are out of my control, I just remind myself that I'm a child of God. Yun, dun na ano ako, nakakomfort ako. So, sobrang ang napulot ko din dun sa story mo, yung lagi kong sinasabi talaga na kapag kagusto mo, maraming paraan. Pagkaayaw, maraming dahilan. So, ikaw, talagang sobrang inspire ako dun sa hindi mo ma-reach. Tapos pinilit mo talagang ma-reach kahit hindi madadagdagan yung height mo. Pero gumawa ka ng way para ma- ma-reach mo talaga yun. Diba? Parang reaching your dream din. So, yun, nag-stretching. So, gagawin ko yan. <laughs> Mag-stretching ka din. <laughs> sa stretching na kami ni H. Kasi sabi ni H, stretching daw kami. So, yan. Sobrang uh-huh. nakaka-inspire yung part na yun talaga. Pagka kinukwento mo lang pa ulit-ulit, sabi ko, galing talaga nitong pinky na to. Ang <laughs> pangit na, ang galing-galing pa. Joke! <laughs> <laughs> ang ganda niya, diba? Tingnan mo naman. Ako tuloy napilitang magpa-lipstick dito kasi ang ganda nung i-interview yan. Tapos yung mag interview Hello? May question pa dito, uh, girl. Ano yes? Anong MLM ang business niyo dati? Um, I joined multiple MLMs. Ah, yes. talaga? Naging yes. Oh, But up, pala tayo dyan. <laughs> 17 yata ako noon. Nung una ah, kong nakilala ang MLM. Yes. Ano Bisa yung una mong MLM na joinan? Vision in Life. Tapos na bankrupt yun. Tapos meron pang, parang yung load. And then, Ah, oo. Oh, oh, ako din. Naganyan din ako. Marami pa. <laughs> Marami pa. <laughs> Oo. So, I ram ko yung power-power. Yeah, <laughs> Mahirap power. mag-invite ng kakilala. Ayaw ka naman lulokohin. Kape-kape tayo. Kakain Oo. sa labas. Uy, birthday. Sumama ka. <laughs> <laughs> Kaya nga. Kunyari, okay. kakain sa labas yung pala. Meron ng may pa-seminar na pala to si ate sa akin. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uy, nadidistract ako sa sa comments. Babasahin ko lang. Sige, Turn your into opportunity. Thanks for inspiring us. God bless. Thank you. Thank you to Nit. Really sabi ni Janice, I lost my job too. Thanks for inspiring us. It is really the big why that will push you kung minsan gusto mo nang sumuko. Sabi ni Marikit. Hi, Kit. Yan. Ang dami mong viewers. Bilang mm. ano? Madami. Yung teacher ko nanonood, Miss Leia. Hi, my favorite English Ayan, teacher. Ayan, siya nga yung nagsabi. <laughs> proud of you, Pinky. Ayan yung teacher yes. mo. Yes. Wow. Um, Um, so, yung nagtitrain sa akin in speaking when I was in high school. Yes. Ayan. Si Ma'am Leia pala yan. Yes, Ma'am Leia. Leia ka din. Turuan mo ako ng English. Turuan ka kay Ma'am Leia. <laughs> Leia, turuan mo ako ha. Sabi ni Bonnie Mendoza, she is indeed pretty and looks very humble. Kaya nga, di ba, no? Nakakainis siya eh. Bakit kaya nasa kanya na lahat? Sa so, yun na. <laughs> pretty na. Tapos, Nasiskip ko yung mga question. Ano yung oh, pinaka-vision mo? Uy, um, I really see myself as, um, I think I have a calling in transformational coaching. I think um, that's where I'm heading. Um, so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sabi ni H, um, biggest takeaway, remember you are a child of God, saka talagang kila is life. <laughs> yes, naghanda ko talaga ako kasi kaya <laughs> nga. H, diba? Sakta Kaharap na lang din ako sa inyo. Pero bakit hindi pa yung ano, maayos, ba? Diba? Eto, eto, maganda tong question ni July, Rail. Uh, Miss Pinky, share naman po ng mga struggles nyo as a newbie freelancer. O nga, share mo yan. Yes, yung struggles sa newbie freelancers, um, uh, yun nga, kasi you might not know your your um, niche yet. Parang, uh, as a starter, baka, yung niche kasi is parang yung specialization mo sa freelancing. Mm-hmm. So, maybe uh, maging generalist ka muna, you can start with virtual assistance, and then until finally, mahanap mo yung, yung gustong-gusto mo. Yes. As for me, ako, I combine social media and copywriting at the moment, but I'm transitioning in copywriting as well. 
So, hindi mo kasi malalaman kung di mo susubukan. Yes, Meron ako pang message sa inyo. Actually, these are my, um, siguro yung words of wisdom ko. Yes, um, Gora, sa words of wisdom. Yes, um, I, I really believe that you can always change the way um, your life moves forward. Kasi you can create your future. And even if you don't have diploma, your experience is your diploma. Yes. Even if you don't have marketing background or skills, you can learn it. Even if you, if you're not tall enough to reach something, you yes. can be flexible. So, um, so para sa akin talaga, um, pag may gusto ka, kuni mo. Yes. Pibigil so, kayong God yan. Agree ako dyan. Agreeing agree ako. And as a former flight attendant, I'd like to give you a metaphor na when you are trying to achieve something, Um, think of yourself like um, para siyang airplane. It's like an airplane. When you see when you're you're taking off, the airplane is taking off. It burns more than uh, like 30 to 40% of fuel. It burns more fuel during takeoff and climb. But once you reach a cruising altitude, you just have to enjoy the flight. Yung fuel less na yung consumption and you just need to Um, enjoy God's abundance. But, you have to remember that Sir Isaac Newton said, um, whatever comes up, will come down. So, magla-landing ka pa rin sa ground, dun sa destination mo. So, be humble. Let go of your ego. Be hungry to learn. Set your guard down. Just be real. So, yun. Kasi, at the end of the day, Nagpahinga lang naman yung airplane na yun eh. It will again take off to another destination, this time, much farther. Uh, oh, eh, meron pang question. Gusto ko sagutin mo to. What was the earliest, sabi ni Bernard, what was the earliest memory where you felt like you were in control of your life? Mm, parang ano, in between those experiences, Somehow, ano eh, I felt like I'm in control kasi yun nga yung, yung hindi ako nakapag uh, ano, ng college. Mm-hmm. Sabi ko, oh, nakuha ko yung job kahit di ako, ano, wala akong diploma. So parang, oh, I'm in control. Yeah, hindi so, ka nagmukmuk, hindi mo inano yung experience na yun. Ha? Yung iba kasi, di ba, pagka ganun, parang hindi na lang sila, hindi na, wala na, wala na silang gagawin. Ikaw, ginawan mo ng paraan lahat para ano hindi ka makatapos ng college, mag- magtrabaho. Pursue mo yung gusto mo, ba? Diba? So, yon Sobrang inspiring talaga over and over again. <laughs> um, so, yun nga, guys. I will share um, the PDF. Um, comment. If you want to get that PDF, comment, I yes. can create the life comment, I want. Comment, again, comment, I can create the life I want. Yes. And share this video to your friends and family. Share na, peeps. Mag-share na kayo. So, we're about to wrap up. Kasi yes. parang mag- magsaseven na. So, gusto ko namang ano, tanungin. Ay, hindi. Tips na lang pala. For, uh, ano, <laughs> tips for newbie freelancers na ano, yung mga, like dun sa WFHR kasi marami kagad na students na nagsastart pa lang sila nawawalan kagad sila ng pag-asa kapag kalmawa, hindi na-approve yung ano, upwork nila. Eh, di ba ikaw hindi ka naman nag-focus sa upwork? So, mm-hmm. share mo sa kanila, sa mga students and sa mga newbie freelancers na hindi hindi lang upwork ang buhay ng ano, yes. or, or platform para sa kanila. Ito na, tutunan ko to sa mga mentors ko kay John Pagulayan na um, hindi lang Upwork ang source of clients. So, you can also find um, clients in Facebook. So, um, you can search in the search bar. Whoever is looking for, um, for example, social media marketer and um, try to help that um, person kung may question siya about social media marketing. And then, doon mo makikreate yung, yung ano sa kanya, yung interest niya na, oh, I want to work with you. But then, of course, guys, you have to study first. Um, kailangan, aralin mo muna yung gusto mong pasukin, di ba? So, invest ka sa sarili mo. Yes, mag-invest ka sa sarili mo. Buy courses. I mean, 
sinabi ko kanina, don't buy everything. So, isa-isa mo lang kasi ma-overwhelm ka. We are in the, er- in the era of information overload. Yes. Kasi yun din, yun pala. That's another struggle of a newbie. You will get overwhelmed. Kasi um, there's like so much opportunities. Nagiging ano na, parang, uy, gusto ko to. Uy, gusto ko to. Uy, gusto ko rin to. So, yun. Kailangan, mamili ka muna ng isa lang. Focus ka doon. Sa isa lang. Pag hindi mo gusto, saka ka naman mag-move sa isa. Uh-huh. Yun. Yes. Sabi ni Melissa, I'll support you sa coaching. Na-transform mo nga ako, brother. Yeah. <laughs> transform ka na pala eh. <laughs> so, tuloy-tuloy na yan. Mary Chris, good evening, Miss AA and Sis Pinx. Si Mary Chris. <laughs> AA Hi. talaga. Para kang double A siyan. Hi, Sis. Double A battery. Request lang po. Pa-replay po nito kasi talagang nakaka-uplift oh, po ng spirit. Replay Maybe po naman kasi yan. ako sa freelancing. Thank you po. More power. Oh naman, we have um, replay. I... We have it in the page, um, per group, di ba? Yes. And then, I also have it in my profile, so... It's an... Watch mo siya later, ulit. Kompleto. And, mm-hmm. nandiyan si JTL, sabi niya. Hi, I'm um, John. Mag-coach ka na daw yan, sinusupport ka niya. Wow. Mag-coach na yan. Mag-coach na yan. O, mag-ano kayo, enroll kayo kay Pinky pag mag-coach na siya, ha? <laughs> Hi, Joms. Jom, Joms. Hi, Pinky. I'm so happy, sabi niya. And then, question ni Mark Allen. I'm curious, what's the next step for you? Ano mga action step na ginagawa mo to reach that? So, I have, um, nga, I have that vision for myself. So, um, I built a curriculum for myself. And I block my time each day wherein I have um, a set of um, studies. I study. I connect with people who can help me. Um, I attend. Attend seminar na hindi na kung anong seminar lang. I listed down five skills that I needed to learn for me to become a coach. So, anything around that, yun lang yung inaaral ko. But still, I am not, hindi ako nag, umaalis pa sa freelancing kasi this is my bread and butter right now. So, tuloy-tuloy lang siya. Yes. Basa pa tayo. Baka mer- meron pa namang time. So, yes. Do you have coaching courses for aspiring freelancer? <laughs> Nadating tayo dyan. Kasi I think, eto pala. Another problem, I think most of us are unclear with what we want. And that was something I struggled myself. Kung ano yung gusto kong niche sa freelancing. So, I think that one I can help. And so that you can gain clarity on what you really want and how you will brand yourself. So, watch out for that. <laughs> yes. Do watch for that. Do watch out for that. I can create the life I want. And dami na ko comment ng I can create the life I want. Yeah, and I can create Ang the life I want. Daming inspired, inspired. Sabi sa iyo eh, maraming may inspire. Ikaw lang eh. Sabi ni Rudy, uh, great, good PM is Pinky from SG. Oh, nasa SG siya. May question pa ba? Um, Eto, um, meron. Maganda. Si Monica, paano po pag may love life? Wala nang time kay boy fee. Sagutin mo na. Meron boyfriend. Yeah, pero tinanong ka din yan, di ba? <laughs> personal life kasi yun, guys. So, um, I, I only had one boyfriend and since high school. I'm a very loyal person. So. Yay! ka magugulat, nag-stock ako sa'yo kasi in-stock mo ako. In-stock ko din. Nakita <laughs> <laughs> ko nga. Grabe, ang babata niyo pa noon. Yes. <laughs> Kala mo ha, stock din kita. <laughs> Sabi ni Julie Ann Bustamante, Miss Pinks, what happened po sa travel agency mo? Sorry po, di ko po nasundan. Ah, yung travel agency business is um yung brand ko ay ano na, I let go of it. So, I just partner with another travel agency. Kasi may mga clients pa rin na lumalapit sa akin eh. And I I connect with that person or that agency. So, kami yung nag-handle um, nun. Kasi, I think, yun nga, um, you need to uh, choose your focus. Because you can't do all the things. Lalo na kung nagsistart ka sa isang business. Maybe when you're already a power CEO, you can have multiple businesses. But when you're building your skills and grit and, you know, you have to choose just one. Okay. Hindi ko maintindihan yung question ni Joseph. Need backup. How to start as freelancer? Although I have been in this group na since early last year. From either Sir Jason or Miss Anna or Miss Pinky. Anong backup po? Anong need backup? Gets mo, Pinks? Mm, How to start as a freelancer? Siguro parang kailangan niya ng push. Mm, 
Pero, Sir uh, Joseph, meron naman sa flip or na mga ano, yung mga frequently asked questions, yung um, newbie guide na pwede mong basahin kung yun yung ano mo rin, concern mo kung paano mag-start. And Ako, aside, sir, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Go. Uh-uh, yun. Kasi parang how to start daw as a freelancer. So, andun po sa ano, sa new, may newbie guide po tayo um, kung gusto niya mag-start. And aside from that, um, Google, yan, search, search kung paano mag-start. Lahat yeah, and I think um on top of what Anna said, um mas importante din na makipag-connect ka with yes. other freelancers kasi um, you feel belong kasi in this um industry you will feel lost sometimes and you feel like people don't understand you especially when you're the only freelancer in, freelancer in your uh, in your family parang mahirap nilang maintindihan kung anong ginagawa mo. They might think na madali kasi nasa bahay ka lang. Pero hindi. You need um, friends. <laughs> yes. Kailangan talaga meron yung nakakaintindi dun sa gagawin mo para meron ka ding moral support. So yan, malapit yes. na na yung magpaalam. Thanks, thank you so much. You're welcome. Pumayag ka, kasi diba, alam mo naman. Thanks to you. <laughs> Inalagalong kita, sa ko, Pinky, pumayag ka na, kailangan ko may, inter- may interview. So yan, yes. thank you for sharing your story. Yes. Na sobrang na-inspire silang lahat, gaya ng pagkaka-inspire ko. Kala ko sa tanda kong ito, <laughs> tanda talaga. <laughs> sobrang na-inspire talaga ako dun sa story mo. Since yesterday na kinuwento mo at napaiyak tayong dalawa, <laughs> na may naiyak din doon. May naiyak ba? <laughs> Iba na yung ano eh, yung tone mo kanina. Pero nakakayak pa rin. So yan, salamat Pinky. Thank you, thank you for raising this interview. Thank you guys. This is Pinky welcoming you on board to yes. freelancing. Bye guys. Bye. Alam na kami. Bye Pinks. Thank you. Bye. Bye everyone.